I put 100 Minecraft players on a survival island to see what would happen when they were left all alone to survive. As they all spawned into the world, the race to grab resources and find friends started. Let's grab wood, grab wood, grab wood. Get yeah, wood, get wood. I'm going for a sampling, all right? I think that's more important. But as players rushed towards some ruins that had been spotted on the island, they opened up a chest to grab some loot and had set off a trap underneath, exploding and killing five people right away. Holy... As the chaos continued, players started to escape the island in the hopes of a higher chance of survival. And as they headed out, people started grouping up in separate calls and making small islands of their own out in the middle of the ocean away from everybody else, as they used up the resources from the starting island to try and make some progress. Other groups split up with some players heading underground to try and grab some iron whilst others set off into the open seas to try and find anything that could help them. After rowing away from the main island, a group of players had spotted a new island. Oh wait, another island, right there. We found another island. Oh, and oh, maybe oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Where, where okay. do I head? What, what direction do I head? These guys quickly claimed this land and started coming up with their plans moving forward. Everyone just work towards anything that we need. Mining, trees, food, building. Whilst these guys regrouped their team from the previous event and reinstated the island of Nepal, the people that were still back at the spawn island were starting to face some serious troubles as they rushed to try and get some resources from the caves. No, there's a cave. Someone's already been down here. Someone's already been down here. Let's just keep going down. Oh, there's mobs. Oh, I'm getting shot by a skeleton. Help. Whoa. But eventually their luck turned as they continued to explore and started to strip. Found diamonds, found diamonds, found diamonds. I found diamonds. Nice, yeah. nice, nice. I got the iron pick, I'm coming over. With small teams starting to pop up all over the ocean, the team building phase came to an end. And now each island had to vote for a king to lead their players for the rest of this event. For most teams, this was an easy decision. Oh, king of the uh, soccer, 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 soccer. Yeah. Soccer, security. Oh, I got oh, yeah. the I got the crown. We gotta select the crown, we gotta select the king, or, and the king is the wild dude. But for other teams, this phase turned out to be harder than expected, as some people tried assassinating their newly crowned leaders after the votes didn't go in their favor. Oh, uh, they're killing us, they're killing me. Yeah. Yeah, he's running after us. Oh, uh, does anyone have his vote? Nice, oh, nice, get us stuff, get us stuff, get us stuff. But this wasn't the only team that had trouble during this phase. A group called the Sexy People had set up an underground base and had to kill one of their members that was also complaining about their choice of king. After this, the server was left with only 81 players remaining already, split over 8 teams all across the ocean that were setting up their very own empires. Once the king election phase was complete, all teams now had a king that they believed was going to lead their team to victory, but with that phase over meant another phase was starting. The border of this world was now expanding, giving players more areas of the ocean to explore and claim. Most teams had already set up a small island of their own, so the border expansion wasn't valuable to them anymore. But they didn't realise this phase uncovered a whole new island that contained a village. Whilst everybody else stayed on their islands, a small team that hadn't set up camp yet spotted it, so headed over and claimed it as their own before anybody else did. Just as these guys arrived, one of the Nepal members also spotted the island and checked it out to see if he could find anything valuable to take back home to his team. But these village people that had arrived here first were not happy about him being on their land, so slaughtered him before he could steal anything. Oh, guys, I died. Um, I died. Uh, I don't know some random at the village, so... As Nepal were notified about the death of their member, they set up a grave right away and noted down that that village was hostile. But this team wasn't the only team trying to cause some conflict on the server. A group of players that called themselves the Cookie Cult had set up just off the coast of the starting island and were starting to mess with the players that had claimed it after everybody else had left. You stole the sheep! <laughs> <laughs> I was coming to kill the sheep and he stole it! After stealing some animals from the spawn, they headed back to the comfort of their own island and started working on their plans to launch an attack later on. Yeah, wait, could we make it like a secret island. tunnel onto the main island or something? Yeah, we definitely should. But before they could start attacking anyone, they ran into a problem. As a team labelled the cookie cult, well, they couldn't make any cookies for their team because they had no cocoa beans. And instead of just changing their team name like anybody else would, they decided to approach me as an admin with an offer. If we trade somebody's life for a cocoa bean, we will sacrifice somebody. Uh, okay, that, that's interesting. I'm, I'm gonna let you guys do that. You can sacrifice one player on your team for a cocoa bean. Oh, no. 
as I left these guys with the hard choice of choosing someone from their team to sacrifice, a lone player called Duxter approached their island, and they saw this as a perfect opportunity. We induct somebody into our group and then sacrifice them. Yes! Can we sacrifice Duxter? Since this guy was all alone, he saw this as a great chance to join a pretty well-established team, so was all in when they offered him to join them. What he didn't realize at this point, though, was that he was joining a cult and was going to be their first sacrifice. You will become a member as, of the Cookie Cult as, and we shall feed as you As the leader of this cult, I hereby induct you into death. <laughs> we get cocoa bean! You get a single cocoa bean. That is it. There you go. There you go. It's, it's, it's been dropped. Let's go, everybody. We are doing well. So after sacrificing their brand new recruit, they were given the cocoa bean that they were promised, and now they were able to start production of their team cookies at the cost of somebody else's life. But whilst this cult had been busy sacrificing players for items, the group that went by the sexy people had finally resurfaced and were starting to try and hunt down some other civilizations. Is that right, everyone's in a boat, right? We have everyone. Alright, let's guys, go. We're north There's a civilization in Northwest, I saw them before I went here. So as these guys set out towards the teams in the ocean, they spotted the island of Nepal and now had a choice to make. Holy crap, do we got? Do we team with these guys or kill them? No, we should kill them. They, they're kill heavily under you. Yeah. No, 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 I think they're There's actually heavily hit. They're heavily oh, they, Yeah, yeah, they are. As the sexy people approached the island, the guards of Nepal spotted them and alerted their team. Oh, guys, guys, we have uh, intruders. How are you going to make traps here? We have intruders. intruders. Wait, where, intruders. where, where, where? Wait, how many? Do you see seven? Okay, That's I'm going to go talk to them. Guys, I guys, hope these not guys are friendly. Fight. Do not start a fight. We, we don't win this. Guys, I, I they're stacked. As the people of Nepal took cover up their staircase to heaven, their leader, Dawao Dude, went on the front line to speak to the leader of the sexy group to try and avoid fighting. I I see y'all are here. Hello, Link. Uh, I'll put my sword away as Hello. a sort of good measure. We're not here yep. to start any sort of conflicts. Um, I would love to know why you're here. Welcome to Nepal. Uh, hello. We're not actually trying to start any conflicts either. We're really just trying to get away from the main island before okay. it gets crowded. So we're just passing through. I would love to um, make a proposal to you and your people. Um, what's what's the name of your nation? The Sexy Group. The Sexy Group. I am a big fan of that name. Well, um, what if our two nations collided and we became the Sexy Nepal and we had two leaders of you and myself? We're fine with yeah, that. Yeah, we're fine with that. Yeah. I, I bet. So after the sexy people went back on their earlier idea to invade this island, they decided to join forces, creating the great nation of sexy Nepal. All right, how's it going down there? Uh, the wow dude's in their call. I, I believe in him. We have decided that their people are going to join our people of Nepal. So we have a lot of new, we have a lot of new friends here. But even though these guys agreed to join up, some members of the merge didn't seem too happy about one of the rules over on this island. If there was a legal binding contract that we have to die, if someone breaks the flag in the middle, I'm leaving and I'm not abiding by that. That's right. The people of Nepal once again were worshipping a flower. Just like my last event from the start, these guys were willing to put their lives on the line for this flower. Uh, everybody, this is our holy flower of Nepal. We need to protect it with our lives. Wait, and if these guys found out that one of their new members was disrespecting the team flower, he would soon be killed, so he had to be very careful. As all of the teams continued to make progress as the time passed by, the village team seemed to be struggling with a lack of communication and resources, even though they had the biggest island on the server by far. So in the hopes of finding some iron to defend themselves, they dove into a ravine that somebody found on their island. I'm gonna go There's mine. zombies behind us, just saying. I can't fight these, I'm at two and a half hearts. Run, 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 run. Don't die, don't die. But don't die, please do not die, just die. I'm not going to, I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm building up, I'm building up. Oh, 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 one of us died. Was that lightning? He died. Uh, wait, wait, was that one of us? Yes, that was one of ours. With a player from their team dead, these guys were now down to seven members and had to start seriously working together to get some iron for armor, or else soon they'd be wiped off the server completely by the bigger teams that were only growing in size. But even with all the big teams dominating the waters, 
Below the surface, some smaller teams were still doing a really good job of making their own underground civilizations. Yeah. So we got a nice little civilization going on here, I won't lie. Nice. Very Did nice. you see oh, me wonderful. get attacked and kill Whoa. a guy in full iron? I did. Not. Yeah, I had I had one heart. I got a guy banned for combat logging. Yeah. I'm yeah. Participating. Yeah, yeah, they they just uh, disintegrate in the middle of the ocean. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Like, you should oh. give us diamonds. <laughs> we don't uh, I don't know about that really. one. After being asked for some free diamonds, I left those guys underground as word started to break out around the server about the cookie cult being hostile after a player managed to escape from being sacrificed by them. Would you like to join our cult? Oonga bunga, oonga bunga, oonga bunga, oonga bunga. I welcome you to death. We can't kill him! We can't kill him! I just need three. Yeah, just three. Unless you since the island building phase was still happening, PvP was disabled, allowing this guy to just walk away from them. So he took this opportunity to alert all the other teams on the server that the cookie cult were hostile, putting almost every team on guard. Wait, incoming attack? No, no there no. might be. Pot potential, unlikely, but potential. Okay. Who need iron? Who need iron? Just be, be on your guard for new people. Like, memorize the people around you and close to you. So, as the team stood at their walls, looking out just in case they were going to be attacked, the building phase came to an end as hunger had struck the server. Next phase oh. in one second. Crouch. Hunger. Oh, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. We have a farm. Nobody move, nobody move, nobody move, nobody move. This phase wasn't actually meant to kill anyone. And as expected, it didn't. All teams were able to stay alive no matter their size by sticking near their farms, limiting movement, and even cooking up the unlimited amounts of kelp under the water. Yeah, don't you guys agree that, that kelp will be a very reliable food source? Does anyone have milk? But it turns out some people did have milk. The players over at the village had trapped some cows for milk and started finally working together to make sure that they were able to survive this event. But as mentioned, this phase wasn't designed to kill anybody. It was simply a phase to drain each team of their resources as the next phase approached. The Blood Moon. Oh blood no. Moon? Careful, careful, careful. Wait, wait, wait. This is this is how we get this is how we get spiders. Guys. Blood moon. Ooh, blood moon. This guy. Oh, no. get light. Flame torches, get torches. This, oh, oh yeah, there's a lot of ground. Get through the right Oh, they're throwing oh, tridents. Oh my god, there's a lot of mobs. There's a lot of mobs. Oh. Alright, we might just want to stay inside until daytime. Yeah, yeah, we should just we should just, just go back inside. Oh, Let's just regroup. Let's just regroup. As most teams took to safety, knowing they didn't have the food and strength to take on the mobs that were invading their islands. Soccer51x decided to think he was invincible, as he tried to take down an entire horde of zombies that had tracked him and his teammate down in the caves. Oh my gosh, we're losing to 20,000 zombies! There's skeletons now! Run, 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 run. Come on, run, 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 run. I'm dropping lava, I'm dropping lava, I'm dropping lava, run, 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 run. Uh, Soccer, I want that, I want that golden armor though. Right. Take it up, pick it up, pick it up. Soccer, there, it's no point. So? It's no, we don't oh, want I got the golden die. one with me. Soccer, get out of there. Uh-oh. 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 Help. 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 Red. Red, I'm at. I'm at. Oh my gosh. What? How did he hit me? He just hit me through a block. With the Blood Moon claiming its first life, the other teams continued to defend their land as Soccer left his team behind with no king after his reckless choices killed him. Back at the sexy Nepal island, their sky base quickly turned into a mob farm due to a lack of light. Light up the sky base yeah, at the top, okay? <gasps> Run! Well, guys, there's a lot of drones. Yeah, I hit drones too. Oh, they're coming. Oh, yeah, oh, they're, they're here. here. Oh, they're here. Oh, they're careful. Careful. Be careful. With the blood moon finally coming to an end, all but a few people managed to survive, and now the islands could get back to their plans of building up some huge civilizations out in the sea. We're here for expansion and development, so I want to make the landmass itself larger today. We have 30 minutes to do it. Back at the cookie cult, they continued with their efforts to annoy and attack every team that they could see. And unfortunately for the team at the main island, most of the time, that was them. Let's break their crops, Greg. I should have killed their cow, shouldn't I? I, ki I, killed, their, I killed their chicken. Um, ah, they're coming with lava! I'm good! I'm gonna start slaughtering these guys' as animals. Yeah. They don't know why I'm in here killing their animals. Whilst these guys were busy messing with other players on the main island, one of the kings of Sexy Nepal had headed out with a few of his teammates to check out this cookie cult that was being spoken of so much in chat. Holy crap, look at this. Oh my I'm god. You guys see people. Let's, no, let's just, let's go past them. 
Yeah. We're looking for sugar cane. We're not looking for trouble. But instead of worrying about the people floating around their base, they were too busy focused on destroying the main island's food source. All the animals on Middle Island is dead. I took their last baby cow. Back underground, the team that had lost their leader during the Blood Moon had a member that had to leave. And Sokka saw this as the perfect chance for him to get back into the game. Wait, Knight, do you have to go after? I mean, it's, it's just I have to work tomorrow, so. Knight, give Knight, me your login. Knight, give me off. your login. You're not getting my login. No, so it, I can play as you. I can play as you. After begging his teammate to share his login details to try and get a second chance in this event, the knight in red was safe and didn't share his password, as he shouldn't have. So instead, they decided to approach me with a different offer. Sword, can we <laughs> sacrifice someone? Can we sacrifice someone's life to bring someone back? That's an interesting proposal. Uh, that is an in I mean, that's why we're a cult. That could be what we do. Okay, if the knight in red agrees to this, then sure. If yes. so can come back, yes. To make it fair, since I let another team sacrifice a player to get cocoa beans, I agreed to this offer and allowed these guys to sacrifice a member of their team to bring back their king. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> so now these guys were back in business. They reinstated their plans and got back to work. Hi guys, where are we going? Where, how are we getting the surface? We've already, we're already, we've already left. Back above the surface, the village group had run into a serious problem. These guys had been hit with a raid, meaning pillagers were now charging through their island, killing everyone they could find. Guys, help! Vindicators! I'm one tap! Stick together. If you're by yourself, you're going to die. Help me! Run, 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 run. There's a rabbit here. There's a rabbit here. The iron golem's gonna help us. Yes. No iron golem. Oh, God. Watch out. There's somebody out there. You gay. Just run. Just run. Oh, oh, no. No. Things only started getting worse for their team as their king was killed by the raiders. What? Oh. That's our king. Oh my god. You have to run. Guys, you have to run. Just take all the stuff. Just take all the Jeez. stuff. I'm sorry. No, don't run. We can kill them. I'm we not can't. running. I'm not running. Just prepare yourself. Just fight. Just fight. As these guys argued over whether they should abandon their village or continue to fight, Sokka led his call out of the mines to finally breach the surface to see what had happened since they went down below at the start. Oh, there's, there's people. There's people. people. There's a sheep. What is this guy doing here? Yo, we got to kidnap this sheep. Hi, Red. Oh, Red, you're not shifted. Red, I can see your name tag. Do we just take it? Let's just take a peek out. Let's just take a peek out. Take a peek out. Hi, horse. As these guys broke out into fresh air, they spotted the main island team walking around the island. Like that guy has a diamond chest plate and a crown. <gasps> it's my stuff. Wait, did you find the zombie? He might have found that zombie. But as they hung around, the plans between the teams started to quickly fall apart. Guys, I'm just gonna go. I'm going. No, no, no. We can't fight. We can't hit. We can't hit people. Remember? Yeah, I know. I'm gonna go explore. No. Listen, we Why? need to assassinate that king. We can't do that if they know there's people in the area. Whilst they hid waiting to make their strike, they quickly realized they were outnumbered. Oh. Oh, there's so many. There's so many. Go back there. But at this point, it was already too late, and the king of this island had spotted them lurking around. Hello, guys. We're, we're, not, we're, not, we're not aggressive. We don't plan on killing you guys. We just know. Oh, I want to know what you guys are doing here. Uh, we're just exploring. I'm just scared, and just... I want, I've been in the cave yeah. for so long. We've, I need sunlight. We've been underground for so long. Deep. We are willing to take you guys in. We have a main base. We're the only base in the main area right now. We will absolutely take you guys in. After a quick thought, Soccer and his team agreed to join forces with the main island people and resurface to check out their brand new base and got caught up to speed with everything that had happened since the start. So what? what's all, what's going on with those other guys then? Well, after being told everything, Soccer had an important question he needed answering before he went any further with this team we will help you um, however uh we should we should talk about like power dynamic to put it simply my guys are gonna follow me and your guys are gonna follow you we're two I, coexisting they, teams yeah. so with that all sorted they stood on guard looking out over the water waiting for an attack from the cookie cult at any time but these guys weren't the only people preparing for an attack since back at the island of Sexy Nepal, one of their members had gone rogue and killed another team's king and had an entire army chasing after him. Uh, they, they um, I well. killed the king. I killed the king. What? You killed the king? Yeah. Oh, from, from who? What? No idea. Why, why did you uh, do that? Boys, I'm gonna now be probably hunted, so, um, 
You cannot you bring those people here. Board. That's a shame to our nation. Yeah. They're coming, they're coming, they're coming. Where, where, where are they coming from? Bad news, they have enchanted gear, and there's yeah. a lot of them, and they think we're hostile. Yeah, we gotta strap up, guys. We gotta strap up. That's what right. she said. During this chaos, one of their players also accidentally fell off their sky base and died. Oh Cheated. my god, I fell, I'm dead. <gasps> no! no. 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 I fell, I fell to the trap. And this wasn't the only death. As TJ started building a memorial for their recently fallen soldier, another one of their members died. I'm dead, 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 I'm dead. Wait, no. No, how did you die? Guys, what's going on? Just as Sexy Nepal thought their troubles were over, their player that went rogue earlier on and killed a king was back to causing problems. I may have killed another king. Why, I mean, why did guys, you do I that? Why did you? Why are you I, killing people? I would like to know. No, no, no. no that's against kill, our rules. We're a peaceful city, nation. Man. We don't kill. Whilst these guys tried to stop their rogue player from killing any more players, the island building phase came to an end, and now it was time for the purge. I'd like to make an announcement. During this phase of the purge, I'm going to be putting Nepal on a full lockdown. We are going to be having everybody on guard duty. The only time people should be leaving the borders and the walls is to gather food if needed. As Nepal went on full lockdown, the cookie cult saw this as the perfect time to leave their island and follow through with their plan from earlier on as they went underground and started tunneling towards the middle island to launch an attack. Okay, hold on. Robo, lead the way. He found my tunnel that leads to the main island. We are going to attack them. Whilst they mined away underground, the main island players were ready for whatever was coming their way. I don't oh, know. Purge, purge, purge. Purge. Nobody kill each other. Nobody kill each other. So we must yeah, defend against the onslaught the coast, that they're about to come. But without realizing, the cookie cult had mined way past the island, and when they resurfaced, were so much further away than when they started. Yeah, we're, not stick on we're not even close. You have to go Egg, just swim. Way. One good thing to come from this, though, now, was that they were behind the island, meaning they could sneak up on their enemies without them realizing at all. Shit, shit, get ready. Attack. They know, they know. Attack, attack. Attack! They're an unchained armor attack! Got one! Uh, yes! Got another. Nice. As the cookie cult invaded the main island and wiped out everyone they could see, Soccer and JJQ watched their new island being taken over from a distance, after they left a few seconds before the attack to check out the sky base in the distance. Are we- are they being invaded? Oh yeah, there's all the- they've been invaded, they've been invaded, GGQ. Okay. So after a successful purge for the cookie cult, they counted their kills and headed home. You killed four. Jesus. <laughs> okay, let's head back. Good job. Soldiers, soldiers, I'm coming to meet you. Back at the island of Nepal, their purge was super quiet after nobody approached their island the entire phase. But somehow, they still managed to lose members, and it was once again to their sky base. No, oh. I died. No. I no. But this wasn't their only death. Uh, I I'm at Skybase. Oh, I'm no! I died. No, no, oh my god! No. How did you no. die? <laughs> I fell. I thought there was water and I fell and I died. I'm stupid. The Link, also known as the King of the Sexy People, had fallen to his death, promoting Dawao Dude as the one and only King of Sexy Nepal, and leaving the team in a very rough place. Okay. I'm gonna make a special no, diorite no. memorial for him. No, I have... But what times were only going to get worse for every team on the server from now on. As a few members from the main island managed to regroup after their invasion, the purge phase had come to an end, and the sacrifice phase started. Each team now had five minutes to sacrifice a player on their team, and if they failed to do that, their entire team would be killed. No. Oh god. Oh my god. All right, everybody. Um, <laughs> anyone? Got this is this is a rough moment. Oh. Sacrifice. Nose goes. Not it. Not it. Nose goes. Not it. Not it. Not it. Right, not it. Not it. Not it. Whilst most teams struggled to choose which of their members would be sacrificed, some of the teams went for an interesting approach to make the choice easier. What we're doing is a game of sumo because I can't decide, and the first person to get knocked off. Gets eliminated. Three, two, one, go. Oh my god, the intensity! Get it! Oh, yeah. No! Oh. Oh. No! Right. Who fell off? I'm sorry, nigga. I'm sorry. No! I'm sorry. Oh.
<laughs> the middle team also made their sacrifice after someone stepped forward and took one for the team. Alright, kill him Where now. Scar, I'm sorry. Right, Scar, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, you. Remember. thank you, Scar. Thank you, Scar. Scar's dead. Oh. Alright, we know who's the sacrifice. Killer's already said he would sacrifice right. himself if it came down to no. it. Uh, kill him, kill him, kill him, Wait, kill no, him. No, no, no. No. Wait. Yes, just kill him. Please. Yeah! All the way back over at the island of Nepal, they had voted for Toxed to be their sacrifice. But this went horribly wrong as he snapped out and retaliated against his team. Tox, take your armor off. Can we do this in the sky base, please? No, 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 no. no we don't right have now. time. Take we don't have armor time. Off. Tox, take your armor off. I'm gonna do this. Oh, what? Yo, 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 yo. Whoa, whoa, yo, what the hell? Wait, what's going on? Kill him. Kill him. Go, go, go. Tox! We sacrificed the one. Whoa! Bubble. What happened? Bubble. Why'd you kill no way! His selfish actions ended up claiming two members of Nepal. And his team, well, X team, were not happy about it. Everybody stop talking. Toxed, get the hell out of this Discord. You're the Bro, kill worst him. person. Kill him. Yeah, you killed me because ever. of you, Trev. Guys, With I'm. I'm Toxed is not getting a memorial. During this whole situation, Nepal failed to realize that the border was now shrinking as a part of the next phase. But the other teams were fully aware since they made their sacrifice well in time and were now starting to prepare their escapes from their islands just in case the border pushed them away. Border shrinking. Really oh my God. Grab all the food. Whilst the few remaining members of the Middle Island waited to see if the border was closing in on them, the Cookie Cult saw this as the perfect opportunity to abandon their base entirely and try and clean up the final few members that were remaining. Get ready. Let's go. Army, go. They're coming. They're coming. They're coming. They're, coming. they're not that geared. We're fine. Just go around and we can go to Sky Base. We do Wait, not what? need to go up against that right now. Yeah, if like there's me. someone's here, you murder them immediately. Whilst the cookie cult looted through this sky base, their base was lost to the border. Cookie oh, cult HQ has been lost. Oh, okay, oh, that's us. That was, that was our base. As the border continued to shrink, the two players that somehow managed to defeat the raid over at the village had been forced off their island and approached the island of Nepal to see if they could be taken in. Guys, the wow dude is talking with these two at the moment. No worries, okay. just hold, okay. hold, hold on. Kill them, everyone jump them. Instead of killing them, the wow dude accepted them into his island, allowing them to join Nepal, even though they literally killed a member of Nepal earlier in this event. As the border continued to shrink, the main island was also taken over, forcing all of the members remaining to seek shelter at Nepal after their brief alliance earlier on. Luckily for them, the island of Nepal was the only island still left inside of the border. So as they were being chased by the rogue cookie cult members, all of the allied nations were able to be together to help defend against the army incoming. Go back and tell them that we're refugees. Go back and tell them that we're refugees. We're being chased down. We're being freaking chased down. We, we joined up with Nepal. We jo we, we've joined up with Nepal. After everyone except the cookie cult were on the island of Nepal, they approached and realized that all of the other teams had banded together to take them down. Oh no, oh no. The, the village, the village team is trying to team up with Mayhem. With the border shrink giving them no option, the teams were finally going to be face to face. All of the allied nations, versus the cookie cult. Oh, wow, dude. Who are you? Who are you? I am, I am the leader of Nepal. Are you the ones who just approached our island? I am the leader of, well, the cookie cult. Oh, no. Wait, oh, hold, no. On. hold on, hold on. Now, you look guys. Quick. Whilst Nepal insisted of being a peaceful nation, the cookie cult knew it was now or never, so launched their attack. I think it's, it's war! They yeah, attacked Panda! They're, they're attacking! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, We're all dying! We're all dying! Okay, they oh, killed our leader. Yeah. It's full yeah. on war. Whoa, 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 whoa. Guys, what's going on? Wait, Wait, Sokka, get up here. Where's everyone? Where's everyone? Where's everyone? Where's everyone? As the cookie cult lashed out, members of the allied nations took covers in the skies as warriors took on the cookie cult in the waters down below. But before they knew it, they had chosen the wrong decision as the cookie cult were being slaughtered. Greg, Greg, help me. Kill this guy, my friend. Kill this guy. Oh, no. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I died. After a quick battle, the cookie cult had been eliminated and Nepal had successfully defended their island thanks to the help from their allies. Now they could all regroup and start rebuilding the great nation that once stood here as the wow dude looked onto his people proudly. They went on to build incredible islands and totally didn't just kill each other for fun as soon as the event ended. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this survival island experience. Remember to join my Discord for future events and subscribe for more videos just like this.